I'm just hearing the words. This is to be a great inland sea of humanity where humanity uh, flows in and toward the sanctity, the, uh, how do you say, to feel safe, to feel that they have a safe haven. Um, and this energy, this frequency infusion that you have been uh, working uh, to first to open the Syrian Palladian uh, portal or stargate and then to position the gatekeepers, the interstellar gatekeepers, for uh, them to amplify the field of light. And then three, uh, the third step is to amplify the field, the plasma field, um, and extend the field um, out into this particular region and to create a vibrational imprinting of uh, purity of heart for the energy systems of light beings uh, are positioned to withstand the electromagnetic uh, pulses coming from the uh, shifts that the physical shifts that are occurring and yet the, hu the human energy system um, has quite a challenging time. You are to understand this, that your role is to, to help others to, to, to know what is theirs to do and to come together as a collective for this collective holding and amplifying. Uh, one must first infuse these frequencies within self and then once the infusion and the activation sequences have occurred within self, uh, within the being of light uh, uh, housed or ensconced or embedded in the context of the human energy system, then there is a form of sort of Im impunity or immunity to these, uh, these waveforms that are designed to annihilate the human race. We must be quite clear with you. Uh, we have instructed you through this channel over the years to understand that there is an impulsing of uh, light uh, taking place in this planetary grid system that is not conducive to the uh, forwarding the human species. It is quite detrimental to the DNA. It damages the DNA of the human uh, energy system and uh, forms mutations and truncations, vibrational uh, truncations in the human energy system that is not conducive for the uh, survival of the human race. And yet the beings of light, the star beings from these various planetary systems are impervious to these electromagnetic waves, which is why you have incarnated uh, to help with the amplification of the field, the, this bioplasmic field in these particular locations. They are both interstellar portals and gateways for beings of both beings of light and the part of the human species who wish to leave at this time. There shall be many others who shall come and go at will, but you are here to balance and stabilize the human energy system during these radical times of the, the shifting of the earth. We are playing a game with you, if you will, to help you to understand that this is about the brilliance of your heart and your ability, your capacity to deeply listen to what is yours to be and to do. Uh, in essence, you may say that your work is complete, your work is done, because there are en uh, enormous infusions of light of souls from other planetary systems who have already arrived to seed light for future generations. 
this is quite true. And the beings that are coming in uh, to learn from the trees, you have experienced the birthing of the new blue race um, just in a moments ago, if you will. Uh, in your sense of time, you may measure time by hours, days, weeks, and months. But in our in our viewpoint, these are nanoseconds of uh, life experiences and uh, activations that are taking place. And you are uh, clearly a metastar in the sense that you are focused with us, listening, deeply listening to what is yours to do. You cannot possibly understand from the vantage point that we see and that we know you are merely to act as the ground crew, if you will, and take the most immediate next step. This is what we have spoken to you on many occasions, so as not to confuse you or to engage in doomsday scenarios to scare the human uh, species into uh, oblivion. This is not our purpose. This is, our purpose is to help to accelerate the evolutionary cycles of humanity and humanity is not merely human there are many interstellar species here upon this planet and we are here to support the full spectrum of light and consciousness and so as you recognize that there are many light ships who have gathered and are gathering um, within the context of this planetary grid not only to escort those who are wishing to return to their home, but also to deliver those who are ready to serve. Uh, these centers of light, as you have come to call them, um, are portals. They, are act they uh, comprise activation sequencing individually and as a whole. And you are uh, preparing yourselves to more fully understand what it does indeed mean to um, act as one. And the, uh, the division that may occur of the mind, that this is mine to do or yours to do, is merely an illusion. As long as you move forward with an open heart and clear directive, you are doing, you are doing what the doing is the being you are bringing a vibrational frequency um, to this planetary grid system to establish the web of light. We are here to tell you that as you are creating and as you are growing and as you are implementing the changes that shall come your way, that you shall also recognize that as you are fully orchestrating the changes uh, of, of light and shadow and color and vibration, by the vibratory patterns and the vibrational imprinting that you share with others is key to the awakening of the masses. The masses are already awakened to the shifts in the incremental shifts, and yet there is a very small percentage of the population, the Earth's population, who clearly understand the game of life that is being played out in present moment. You, under, you are to understand that the new world governance is to be of joyousness and spontaneity with the knowing and the understanding that we truly are all one. We are here to help you. You are not alone and you have never been fully alone, only in your imagination and in your mind where fear has a tendency to destroy your sense of optimism. We say now that as you are recognizing and as you are creating and as you are growing and as you are accepting, you need not allow the confusion of the mind to uh, make uh, sw sway, have sway over your decision-making processes. You are merely to love and to be in joy. It does not matter what you do when you gather or as you gather in New Mexico. What matters is that you are there for joy, for play, and for the restitution of the human spirit. 
we say now that as you are moving and as you are directing and as you are fully flowing in the context of your life and living, we say to you that all is quite well, you see. So they're showing me mental pictures of like a container inside of a container. So we're to go with our message clear and concisely that we're, um, we're all about creating expression and f offering up the infrastructure for anchoring these global light centers. And the light centers are places where the this, that stance of beingness that we experienced in Molokai and joyfulness and it's to be without agendas it's we're cer certainly to put forth the structure and then invite people into the structure so that they can feel feel the difference between being in the context of a global light center structure in that being field and being someplace else so that they can begin to feel the energetic shifts within themselves and that also provides like the container or the soup if you will um, is the energy it is the the uh, the environment it's the environment that we're providing and it's an environment of honoring and so that's how it's going to be in new mexico too it's going to be uh, we're going to be container holders and we're going to be sharing specific modalities. I do see that uh, given the anchoring of that center, it is, it is telling the story.